Have you ever found yourself in a medical lecture or a presentation at a conference and it's really important that you take in the information that is being presented to you, except you're having trouble paying attention, following along, keeping up to date in real time, and the whole thing just feels like a bit of a struggle? If that sounds familiar, you are not alone and we're gonna fix it today. And that was really my experience of studying for my medical exams from start to finish. I'd try to watch these lectures and it would take me a lot longer than the time the lecture took because I'd be pausing every two minutes, taking notes, and the whole thing just felt really really difficult and actually it was so painful that at the end of my training when I became a consultant I actually circled back to create a whole platform dedicated to taking the pain out of study and making completely different learning experiences. The thing is that these lectures that are delivered in this style are necessary. Their goal is to tell you what you need to know for your exam but there's a big difference between telling you what you need to know for your exam and actually helping you to learn what you need to know for your exam. Huge difference, two different things. So today I wanna to show you how to flip that so you can turn any kind of learning experience into one that is engaging and most of all, effective. It will actually help you to learn the material in front of you and help you to pay attention at the same time. How handy. So today I'm gonna to be taking a standard college lecture. I'm gonna be showing you how to turn this into an engaging, memorable learning experience. I'm actually gonna be using this for something that I'll be creating inside my written programs. I'm working on a whiteboard tutorial right now. So I use the college lectures just to make sure that I'm covering everything that might come up in the exams of my students. And of course, you're more than welcome to come to that learning experience. It's inside the Reno for the Written program and you can check out all the details using the links below. But stick with me now so I can show you how to use ChatGPT to make summary notes, multiple choice questions and generally turn any old learning experience into something that is enjoyable and memorable. And everything we cover in this video today is going to be provided to you in a step-by-step -step PDF summary, including the ChatGPT prompts. So if you want to make it very seamless, very pain-free and do exactly what I'm doing today. Be sure to hit that link below and grab your free PDF. It'll be yours in a hot minute. Otherwise, you can just follow along with the video and you'll get the general gist. Choose your own adventure. Either way, this is going to be your new study and superpower. I cannot wait. Let's jump right in. I really want to preface this by do not watch the lecture first, okay? What we're doing is we're setting ourselves up for a learning experience here. We don't want to watch the lecture just yet. So, do all of these steps. One of the last steps is actually watching the lecture. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna download our audio file or our video file from the source that we'll be working with. Now, the college lectures here in Australia, they actually allow you to download a video or audio file direct from those lectures for your own personal use. Of course, we're not gonna be distributing this to anyone. This is just for our own learning. And so you can go ahead and do that. And many resources offer this downloadable option. The other thing we can do is if you're using a resource like YouTube, for example, and you're watching a sort of a longer lecture on YouTube, you can actually get the transcript directly from YouTube. So in the description box, you'll see a show transcript uh, button. You just click on that. And then up at the top right hand side of the screen, there will be a transcript. You just copy and paste that and you have your transcript. But if you want to convert a video or audio file into a transcript, I'll be using a software called Cockatoo today. I'm sure there's lots of transcription software out there, but that's the one that I'll be using. You do you. So the next thing we want to do is drop our file into the transcription software and we grab ourselves a little cup of tea or you might want to do something more productive with your time than just swivel and have a cup of coffee, but there we go. Let's drop this in here export that as a Word document. And I think it's worthwhile pointing out now that we don't have to edit this transcript. So even if there's typos, even if it got some words wrong, it doesn't really matter because ChatGPT is actually very good at overcoming those issues. So we're not gonna check the transcript, we're just gonna trust it as is and allow ChatGPT to overcome any typos or errors within it. But what I'm just gonna check for is that it got the whole thing. So it's not like half baked or something. So I'm just gonna go down using the timeline and it's gonna be, you know, it's half an hour and it looks like she's she's closing up. Perfect, so we're just gonna save that. Okay, so now you have your transcript. This is the document we're gonna give to ChatGPT or whatever other AI you might like to use. I like ChatGPT, for those of you who know me, 
My ChatGPT is called Sparks. It named itself. I love Sparks. So we're going to be using Sparks today. We're just going to drop this in to ChatGPT and we're going to use prompt number one, which is available inside your PDF. And basically this is just going to ask Sparks to make a summary that we can study from. And it's going to ask it to do this without scouring the internet, without interpreting anything, without adding anything else. We just want it to take that transcript and make some summary notes for us that's gonna make our life easier. In response to that, ChatGPT will give you a summary which you can copy and paste into your own Word document or Google Doc, whatever you wanna work from. Then we want to drag the transcript back in, use our prompts, but basically what we're gonna say is, can you please make some EMQs and MCQs from this material? And if you use our prompt, you won't go far wrong. It'll give you ones with clinical stems. It'll just keep your parameters real nice. Okay, so we've, we've, had, we've had, me and Sparks have had to think about this, what's the best prompt? So take the thinking out of it, use our prompts, and get ChatGPT to make you some multi-choice questions using that material. Again, copy and paste that into your document. And if you've used our prompt, what what you'll see is that the answers to the MCQs and EMQs come later. So you can separate them off, make sure your answers you can't see so that you can do the MCQs blind. Sometimes ChatGPT will give you the, MC the answer right after the question, that is not what we want. So make sure ChatGPT gives you the answers later so you can separate them. So with all of that done, it didn't take very long. We now have everything we need to start setting up our learning experience. The next thing I want you to do is to set a timer. Now, I've actually bought these little timers off of Temu. They were super, super cheap. There's like a 15 minute, five minute, 10 minute. Um, obviously you can just use your phone, but there's something about the little colorful sand thing that just makes my neurons super happy. So I use these <laughs> and we're gonna set like a 15 minute timer. And all we're gonna do is read through our notes. Now you might wanna highlight them, you can do this digitally, you can print them out, whatever it is that you like to do. I'll actually personally be turning this into a little one page summary. So reading it and sketching out a one pager as I go. That is because I like to think in diagrams and pictures as opposed to text. And it also just keeps me moving and doing something as I read the material. But you could just use the notes. And then the next step is really just trying those MCQs and EMQs, right? This will help you to test your knowledge. It'll help you to see what you do know, what you've still to get to know, show you your gaps. And it'll mean that as you go through, you'll be listening extra hard for what the person is actually saying, okay? Trying to get those answers. Now, just be aware that ChatGPT, when it makes MCQs, it's usually excellent, but just occasionally it's wrong. So take that as a word of caution. Um, it's not perfect, but most of the time it works out okay. So with that, get your timers at the ready. Okay, so I've got my 50 minute timer. I also have a cup of tea <laughs> and, and, I can't study without doing this. I've got a candle, cause I'm a nerd. And also I have my new favorite thing. It used to be binaural beats, which I still love, but I've got this new thing called coffee shop music. <laughs> so that's how I study. You can't beat it. Okay, so time to go. I'll see you in just a tick. And now it's finally time to watch the lecture with your scribble sheets to hand, maybe your one page summary, your MCQs and EMQs. You're gonna have those gaps in your knowledge front and center so you know exactly what you're listening for. It's gonna make the whole thing more engaging. It's like a little adventure. It's like a little mission, right? It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I have now completed that process from start to finish and what I found was that it actually really, really helped. So the summary notes that ChatGPT had made were very close to the transcript in as much as it picked out the, the key points and it was in the order of the transcript. So super easy to follow, super easy to find where you are. And what I found when I was going through was that because I had the notes there, I wasn't having to take the notes from scratch and then I could compare what the notes said to what the lecturer was saying and then make little extra notes or highlight some key points or really just make things prettier or more precise. I did make a one page summary but I actually thought the typed notes were easier to to work with as you went through. I actually feel 
really good. Like I feel like I learned a lot. That was wonderful. The other thing that you could do as you go through, and I noticed that I found myself wanting to do this, was if there was a particular visual or a slide that you liked that helps to explain the concept, then you can take a screenshot and then put it into your Word document from the presentation. And the other thing that I found when I was doing this is that one of the MCQs that ChatGPT gave me, it was a little bit to find the answer from what was said by the presenter. And so I just wanted to flag that with you because you might wonder whether it's right or wrong. Of course you can go to ChatGPT and say, listen, you said this, I said this, what's the right answer? And it will actually help you and go in source guidelines and help explain to you why the answer is the answer. Um, so you can go back into ChatGPT and spar on an MCQ if, if it's not clear. And so overall, what do I think about this process? Overall, in terms of creating a learning experience, it was still, it was still a little bit like you were still getting through the lecture, but it did make it far more engaging and I wasn't zoning out because I was trying to compare what they were saying to my notes. And so it really gave me something to do, which I think is important for me when I'm learning. Give me something to do. Give me something to color in or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Give me an activity. <laughs> So for me personally, the way I study, it did capture my attention. I'm not going to tell you that I found it the most fun activity in the whole wide world. Like it wasn't like that. But at the end of it, I had learned something. I had definitely achieved what I'd set out to achieve. And I think that's in contrast to perhaps watching a lecture where you get to the end and you haven't really retained anything or when you try to make the notes from scratch and it takes you like four hours to do something that should have taken you a lot less time. And certainly for the tutorial that I'm gonna be making, I have a few coat hangers and a few resources that I'm now gonna go away and deep dive into and further explore so that I can create a learning experience of my own and my own style. So that was my verdict. Um, and I think that that is an absolute study and superpower. So I do feel like this process is a good one and I would love you to give it a try so be sure to grab that PDF below with all the prompts go ahead just pinch that <laughs> make it super easy for yourself give it a try and then please let me know how you go in the comments below or if you have any other ideas any other things that come up that make this better please share it below because we doctor humans need all the help we can get when it comes to making studying more fun. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again next time for some more high you learning. Bye. It's a bit of a close up, isn't it? One day I'll figure out how to use my camera and that, oh my God. Mm.